Hey guys, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and the time to fly is now. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a price comparison for when I flew last year to San Francisco and I'm about to make another trip out to San Francisco this year and I wanna show you the crazy difference and how close that you can book before the prices go skyrocketing, which they literally did after I purchased my ticket. And then later on in the video, I'm gonna be sharing the two apps that I love to look at to price compare. You guys know this is a budget lifestyle channel. I am never flying luxury or anything like that. I am never traveling on the luxury line, maybe someday, but right now it's all about the budget deals. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. Okay, so if you're like me, I didn't travel by flight at all this summer. Everything I did was pretty local. I still got to get out and have my fun this summer, but I didn't do any flights or any hotel packages, anything like that. It was really crazy. It seemed to me that everyone was flying, everyone was traveling. I feel like I saw that all over the news. I really wasn't intending to travel. I wasn't even thinking about it. Even though my birthday's coming up, I just was like, I'm gonna probably do something here because everything's back open again. For the most part, things feel much, much different here in New York. So again, I wasn't thinking about traveling. And I was like, let me just, out of curiosity, just let me just look. I'm not going to do it. I'm just thinking about it. So I looked up the flights and I was like, whoa, to go to San Francisco is super cheap right now. And I was like, well, I went last year and it was so much fun. Maybe I should go again. And let me just say, when I was looking at these flight deals, it was for two weeks before I was going to travel. So that's not a lot of time. Whereas last year when I was planning my trip, I planned that trip about a month before. I purchased my ticket from my hotel and my flight on the same day and that was September 9th. I went through JetBlue and I paid 266 for my flight. This year, I was able to get a flight for $125, but I did find some deals in there. So I will say that I was able to finagle some deals and I'll tell you why in a second. Now for hotel, this is where things get interesting. Hotels last year were at such an all time low, whereas I feel like flights were low, but not drastically low. I decided to stay at the Hilton and I paid about $325 and it was about 93 a night. For the Hilton, that's pretty good considering this year, the Hilton's prices for the same room is about 126 a night. So you see there is that jump up. So personally, I would say that hotels are way up. If you watched my San Francisco vlog last year when I went, I was saying that the Airbnb prices were insane last year. To stay was gonna be about $500 and I was like, what? I was like, the hotel is like half that price. There's no way I would do that. So I ended up staying at a hotel. Well, this time around, I've been flip-flopping back and forth and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. And it was based off the experience I was gonna have, but I decided to go with an Airbnb in which I believe I should be getting a like one bedroom type style apartment, but I should be getting that for about 88 a night and a total of around like $340. So considering that that is higher than what the hotel was, but that was last year's prices, and it was much better than what the hotel was gonna be this year. I requested the Airbnb less than a week before I was gonna fly out. So less than a week before I was gonna check in is when I actually requested the space. I would never usually wait that long, because like I said last year, I booked the hotel, and the flight a month in advance. This time around, I kept waiting and kind of getting closer and closer and just checking the prices. The day that I decided to book the Airbnb was because the price dropped. So I booked it within five days notice and the day before it was at 93. So it went from 93 down to 88. I will say that there were comparable prices for hotels on another website and they were in the same range, but I decided I would get more space, I hope, from the Airbnb than I would the hotel. Like I was saying before, the hotel prices are really high up. I didn't, wasn't even gonna do the Hilton again because in the financial district, it was a little bit farther from where I wanted to go. So I wanted to stay more in the downtown area. But then in that area, you have to watch out because there's some sort of shady area over there called Tenderloin that everyone tells you to stay away from. Even in the reviews, they tell you to stay away from. But it looks like all the hotels are kind of in that area. So I'll just be uh, testing it out and we'll see how it goes. So as I was mentioning before, I bought my flight two weeks before I was going to go. And the day that I actually saw the lowest rate was a Sunday. I'm surprised. I don't often hear that Sunday is the day that you should be booking flights, but I might wanna mention it to people. I used to hear that it would be like Tuesday late night or Tuesday at like three in the morning or something like that. And that's like the day that I would try to, you know, keep track of. But this was a random Sunday afternoon and I just thought, let me check the flights and they were really low. Now, the one thing that's kind of funny is that a day or two later, I received 
received an alert from an app that I use to track flights and it told me that my flights that I was interested in were bouncing up $300. So if I had waited just one or two more days, I would be paying for a 400 something dollar flight crazy but it does make sense because as we all know as the flight gets closer the prices do get higher that part makes sense but it's like finding that sweet spot for when you can book flights i do believe though that now is really the time especially before we get into the holidays so anytime between now and i'd say right before thanksgiving i bet you're gonna get really good flights so i'd say that if you need to go somewhere you want to take some personal days or something like that do it right now now let me explain how I got such a really good deal on my flight and how I saved a bit of money. The easiest way is by credit card points. I'm sure everybody else is aware of this. When you have different credit cards, you can have points or cash back, things that can accrue so that you can use that money towards something. I finally hopped on the train of doing that with Chase Rewards and I absolutely love it. I believe I have the Freedom Card or something like that. And so every time I'm purchasing, I'm getting a kickback or a percentage or something like that and the points just kind of grow on their own it's really awesome so what I did is that when it was time for me to look for travel I went through the chase rewards program and I was like well why don't I use some of those points because you can use those points for traveling for Amazon gift cards for other types of gift cards uh, hotels flights everything it's there's so much stuff even though the flights were already low I was like let's make them even lower so my flight was actually $200 but with my discount I was able to get $75 off using some of my points and so it came down to about 125 which I thought was awesome. So that's how I got my deal. If you end up being someone that doesn't travel anywhere or doesn't see themselves using all those points, I think that that's the perfect way to gift that to someone. I don't think you can transfer the points but if you had someone's birthday coming up or if you have Christmas or whatever, I think that that's the easiest way to get them a really nice gift without spending your own money. Okay, so like I was saying, the general consensus is that the hotels have gone up and the flights have gone down. Here are the two apps that I use to keep track of flights and hotels and find the best deals. So the first one is going to be Hopper. I feel like most people might know about Hopper, but I use that all the time. I love the little bunny. It's super cute. I always put in my flights on there and check to see what the trends are going on right now. When you look at that little calendar that they have, they'll show you green, which means the lowest prices. I believe the next it's yellow and then red means like you are about to pay money. So I've been using it for years now and it's always great to check and you can also watch flights. Once you watch flights, you can get discounts towards hotels that would be for that trip. So when I went to the hotel section, I was able to see what the hotel deals were and they were much lower than what would be set on the hotel's main website or on Google or Expedia going further there's another place that you can check for really good hotel deals that my friend turned me on to and it's called hotels tonight you can also use hotels tonight for advanced booking I can also watch hotels on this app so I can see how the prices change and they'll alert me when there's price changes the other cool thing too is that you can always unlock a deal so anytime you open the app and you're looking for something you unlock a deal and it'll show you a hotel for like 67 a night or 80 a night or 90 a night you do have to still do your due diligence because i would look up the hotels there see the really awesome deals see what people said about it on the app but then i would go over to TripAdvisor or google reviews and see what people are also saying on there about the hotels so sometimes when the hotel had a really good rate of like 50 something dollars you know, I would see that it was like a two star hotel and people thought it was like really small. I almost booked at least two or three different ones. I was gonna do Hotel Abri or Aubrey. That one was at 90 a night with their deal. Um, and so I was thinking of doing that one, but I ended up doing the Airbnb instead because I just thought I would have more space. I really do like that app. So if you're interested in that, I'll have the information down below. All right, so if you've been traveling recently, comment down below, tell me where you get your deals. What are the apps that you guys love to track your flights, track your hotels? Or where do you find the best deals? Do you only go through Chase? Do you do Triple A? And if you're going somewhere, I recommend going between now and November before Thanksgiving because I'm sure it's all gonna rise again, but I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have links to everything down below that I mentioned in the video and I will see you in the next one.